Hello my friend, happy to see you here and really interesting algebra problem today. So we have 9 divided by 3 and in parentheses 1 plus 3. Nothing hard on the first side, but a lot of students do this common mistake. I'm going to show you this common mistake here early in just 30 seconds, okay? But before solving this, I suggest you to choose one option. What do you think is the correct answer? Is this A, B or C right here? We have our question. As you can see, nothing hard on the first side, but we can easily check our answer here in just 30 seconds, okay? Choose one option. What do you think is the correct? Okay, first of all, a lot of students there are like, yes, I can handle this problem. This is basic problem. I learned division, I know multiplication, I learned this stuff in the third grade, and I can easily solve it. But a lot of students do this common mistake, so let's try to figure out how can we solve it correctly. First of all, we know we need to know about order of operation right here, because we have like 9 divided by 3 and in parentheses 1 plus 3. So a lot of discussion about it, about the first step right here. Do we need to multiply, to divide it first, or multiply, or right here parentheses, or this is our second step, third step. So as you can see, a lot of combination right here, and we need to know what we need to start with, yeah? So for this question, I have PMDMC order. This is the main popular order in the world. All internet libraries works according to PMDMC. Scientific graphing calculator works according to PMDMC. There are a lot of different order, like BODMAS, a lot of interesting different order, but I want to solve it according to PMDMC, yeah? So I just read this question, so 9 divided by 3, and in parentheses 1 plus 3. Okay, so first of all, we need to work according to PMDMC. PMDMC works from the top to the bottom, and first step is these parentheses. So as you can see, we need to start from these parentheses, yeah? 1 plus 3 in our parentheses give us, this is our first step, give us 4. So as a result, we just, we just don't have these parentheses, we still have like 9 divided by 3 and times Four. So from this expression we have this one, which is really great. Let's go to the next step. The next step is exponents. So are there any exponents right here? No, I don't see any of those. We don't have any exponents, squares, cubes. We have only our regular numbers like 9, 3 and 4, which is really great. Then we have multiplication according to PMDMC. But one really important moment, a lot of students forget about this, because multiplication we add with this addition, with this division, because this is one group. Multiplication and division, this is one group. And now we need to scan other any multiplication and division sign in our expression. So in our case we have like division and multiplication sign, so this is our case and we need to work according to PMDMC. According to PMDMC, we need to work from the left to the right. And we need to scan what is the first sign from left to right. The first sign from left to right is this division. So according to PMDMC, we need to start from this division. 9 divided by 3 equal to 3 and times 4 right here equal to equal to 12, which is option option B. But a lot of students solve it in another way. They multiply it first. So 3 times 4 equal to 12 and 9 divided by 12 equal to 3 over 4, which is option C. So as you can see, a lot of tricky options right here, but if you're talking about a correct solution to this problem, a correct solution is option option B. This is our, our 12. If you don't trust me, you can easily check it in like uh, all internet libraries or like scientific graphing calculator. You can easily check this option and you will have like 12. But a lot of countries, a lot of discussion about this, PMDMC, Boardman, so you can easily, and I Really happy that you write a comment, how do you solve it in your country, because a lot of countries, a lot of discussion about it, and it's really interesting about your solution. Definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong, and moreover, if you made this error, I'm happy you made this, because you won't make this again. Thank you for your time, have a great day, if you wanted to support me, you can easily leave a like below this video, I really appreciate it. Now, if you need to learn basic math, interesting brain test, IQ question, you can easily subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventure, thank you for your time and have a great day.